One of you has asked me on my Facebook page uh, explainingmaths.com to help with this past paper question about changing the subject. And we have to make why the subject of this particular equation. And before I start, although I wrote this one down myself, I did not create this question. So all credit goes to Cambridge uh, examinations for this is a past paper question. Okay. Well, that student already correctly said, well, the first step is to square both sides. And to get rid of that square root sign, we're going to get x squared equals y minus 1 over y plus 1. And now to make y the subject, yeah, our aim is uh, to let it say y equals and all the other terms then on the other side of the equal sign and you cannot have any terms with uh, a y in it uh, on that side okay so um, first of all we want to get rid of this fraction so we multiply both sides by y plus 1 okay so we multiply it so also this side by y plus 1 okay so uh, what will that look like I'm going to expand those brackets straight away so it's going to say y x squared plus x squared equals y minus 1. Yeah, did you see what I do? I did x squared times y and x squared times 1. Yeah, don't forget x squared times both of those terms equals, and then the numerator is there, y minus 1. Good. Now our next uh, step, oh, excuse me, is to put all the y terms on one side of the equal sign. So I'll do that on the right side. So we're going to say y minus y x squared okay so take away y x squared here so take away on the right side i'm going to plus one on the right side so i'm going to do plus one on the left side as well so those were two steps in one line okay so the minus one is gone here and it's a plus one there and the y x squared is gone here so it's a minus y x squared there and now here it's usually at this particular point where students are confused yeah? because you have these two terms with a y and they're not really sure uh, yeah, how to make it say y equals and then all the rest. And this is what you always have to do then. Um, you have to factorize it. Yeah? So factorize it. Take out y and what goes inside those brackets yeah? because the common factor is y. And inside those brackets it's going to say 1 minus x squared. Yeah? Are we following me? Yeah, because if I would expand it now, y times 1 is y, and y times minus x squared is minus y x squared. Fantastic. This is a number, could be 4, yeah? so 4y equals x squared plus 1. So how would you get rid of that number? You would divide it, yeah? you would divide it by that number. So now we're going to divide by 1 minus x squared, only equal if we do that also on the other side. You see that? And then we can get rid of that. So finally, my final answer uh, is going to be, so y equals x squared plus 1 over 1 minus x squared. So um, make sure that that is the simplest form. Sometimes, yeah, if you... Um, Sometimes you have too many negative signs, you're going to make them positive somehow. But this really is the simplest four. I cannot factorize this and get rid of any common factors. So that's that. Good, I hope that was useful. Eh? Changing the subject, past paper question, explainingmaths.com. You can check my website or my Facebook and ask your own question. Because I think this student has um, or received his answer within one hour. Yeah. So if I have time, I will help you too. Good. Like and share this if it was useful. Yeah, so I can help your friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.